Now it's Meghan Markle's turn to show in the press that she's wanting to reconcile with the royals, specifically Princess Catherine, but is she really doing so not to make peace, but to save her beloved Sussex title? up everyone it's me steph the alt nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd why break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye and oh my goodness yeah let's jump into this one shall we because over the last few days and i've been reporting on it extensively over here yes apparently hazard is willing to return uh, to take up a royal role following king charles's cancer diagnosis but guess what Oh, it's now Megs' turn to show in the press that, you know, she wants to reconcile with the royals too, you know. Anything Azza can do, she can do better. How? Well, she's trying to reconcile, apparently, with Princess Catherine. Yep, Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton. Now, recent headlines suggest... Uh, unnamed sources saying that Megzi is attempting to try men faces, fences, men faces, men fences with Princess Catherine. Uh, telling her, okay, quote, Megan has contacted Kate and Charles that moves are being made to reconcile. Um, interestingly enough, a source who spoke with a separate publication used the same words, uh, saying, quote, Kate is open to reconciling, though with Hazza, well, have it, more so than Megan. Uh, as we know, Omid Scoby, otherwise known as Lybrows or Scabies, had written in Endgame uh, that Princess Catherine would jokingly shiver when Megzi's name comes up, uh, saying still has some hurt feelings over what Meghan did, the source says. Um, also saying Kate would be open to making nice if William wanted to, but she won't meddle. She has faith that the situation will resolve itself in time. And um, so... This is the thing, right? I wonder, in terms of Megs' intentions, is she wanting to reconcile with the royal family to make peace and that she genuinely wants to reconcile for the right reasons? Or is it because um, it's to save her beloved Sussex title? Because it's better to be in than out. It's better to be in favour with the royals than out of favour with the royals. Especially when headlines like this are now popping up since the launch of their Sussex.com website, where King Charles is being urged to punish Hazard and Megzi and strip them of their titles. Now, this is the thing, right? They're already quaking in their boots about this because, yeah, Hazard and Megzi have been holding talks over what to do if their plan A, which is to fix relations with the royal family, actually fails. So apparently they've had emotional conversations, guys, uh, over their next steps concerning the rift that they have with the royal family and insider has claimed saying that Hazard's recent visit has prompted certain conversations between the gruesome twosome about the future of their relationship with the royal family. Uh, and they seem to want different things, apparently. Uh, so the source says Megzi doesn't want anything to do with it and is keen to stay away from England. But Hazard is of the opinion that he must repair the damage that has been caused. Yet she's keen to stay away from England. However, I think remotely she's trying to reconcile with the royal family, uh, particularly Princess Catherine to save her title. Uh, the source also says, quote, there have been plenty of emotional conversations and heart-to-hearts over the best way to handle the situation and move forward. Harry wants to put an end to the feud and regrets the way that things have turned out. The source also said that there is no plan B uh, for Hazard as repairing his relationship with the royal family is the only option for him, saying there's no plan B for Harry. Patching things up with his family is the only option. Yeah, the only option to... Save his title, save Megs's title, and save their career and all the millions that they need to maintain and fund their current lifestyle. To me, them reconciling with the royal family is all for the wrong reasons. Uh, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. The source then says it's finally hit home how difficult it will be to repair the damage caused by the various swipes at his family 
over the year. Uh, and, you know, Prince William is not willing to accept him back into the royal fold as he no longer trusts the Sussex couple. And this I absolutely believe. Firstly, yes, it's going to be difficult to repair the damage because not only does he have to reconcile with the royal family, but he also has to reconcile her, him and Megzi, reconcile with the British public, us, right? Because they've attacked us our culture, our identity, right? Our nationalism, by attacking the royal family, you're attacking all those things as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, it's not just the royal family they need to reconcile with, right? And when it comes to Prince William, oh, hell yeah, I 100% believe this. I actually did a video yesterday, so do check it out, uh, that Megzi and Hazard's return to the royal family has been blocked by Prince William. So if you want to know a little bit more about it, uh, then go on to the Daily Nerd that I released yesterday. Uh, but yeah, this to me is all in aid of saving their titles, their beloved titles. It's the only thing that gives them prestige. It's the only thing, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, that is getting them the big books that they need at the moment. Has a reconciling with the family to save the titles. Megzi reconciling with the family as well to save the titles, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. Why? Well, if it was all the right reasons, then as far as I'm concerned, not only would they be reconciling with the royal family, they'd also be reconciling with the Markle family. And we're not seeing that in the news, are we, guys? Um, so this was last year when uh, Thomas Markle Sr. gave an interview uh, to, I think it was Australia 60 Minutes, uh, saying that he refused to be buried by Megzi as he gives the final interview. Um, so he claimed on Seven News Spotlight that Megzi had not called him in four years. Um, to our knowledge now, this will be the fifth year, yeah, right? Uh, he said that he suffered a debilitating stroke uh, and expressed disappointment that she did not reach out, uh, saying if she doesn't turn up for a stroke, if that doesn't move her, what would? But I think we all know the answer to that now. If you're a king and you're diagnosed with cancer, then that'll move Megzi but not your actual blood father, blood relative who suffered a stroke. That won't move her. No, no, not at all, right? I think we finally got the answer to that nearly a year later, guys. Um, but uh, Thomas Markle Sr. was talking off of the back of Hazard's memoir, Spare, being released, uh, where he said that Megzi was mourning the loss of her father. Why he would say it in those terms makes no sense because her father is still alive, right? And Thomas Markle Sr., he picked up on that and said, she killed me and then mourned me, adding, I refuse to be buried by her. And this is all supported by the rest of the Markle family. So Samantha Markle's also turned around and said that Megzi has not reached out. Uh, at the time, there were rumors that she had, but Samantha Markle is like, uh, no, those rumors are BS. She has not reached out. However, like I said, if you're a king who's a father-in-law, diagnosed with cancer, then apparently that's what it takes for Megzi then to reach out and try and reconcile with the in-law family. Yeah. All in aid of, as far as I'm concerned, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, to save her titles. It's better for her to be in favour of the royal family than against, because in favour, they're less likely to remove her royal titles than, you know the other way, if that makes sense, right? And what is what is the best way for Megzi to try and get back in favour with the royal family? Well, get on the good side of the biggest superstar in the royal family as of now, which is Princess Catherine. Yeah. I don't think that plan's going to work, do you guys? With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our alternate tribe. I'll be honest with you, help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button right there and hopefully cause a Christopher Boozy meltdown on Twitter. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about Megzi apparently trying to reconcile with Princess Catherine, and I bet you do, make sure you send me a super thanks it's just below this video right here we can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me and until the next time you guys laters